Hey, I'm Nick Hawks with Crystal King here with Dirk Bear. And we are really excited to tell you about a project we've been working on that we got a helium grant for. If we think in big picture terms, what helium really needs is a lot of use on the network. So a lot of devices coming on. And so the grant that we got was to enable a lot more devices to come on the network. In very broad strokes, what it does is it allows a lot of different radio protocols to come on and bridge over to helium. So this is the helium bridge project. All right, so Dirk, tell me what we got here. All right, well, this is the WSAD weather station. It transmits on the ISM band on 915 megahertz. It doesn't use LoRa. Um, and then this is the, the bridge unit that we're building, uh, which receives that, that signal. It's frequency shift key protocol, uh, and it retransmits it on the healing network. And it's powered by the battery inside and a solar panel on top here. Super cool. Yeah, let's see, a couple things here that are important is that the WS80 from Ecowit that costs about $130 shipped. I think it's 109 plus shipping to the US. And the bridge by the time we're done putting it together is 45 bucks if you're doing yeah. a DOI plus all of the work. Yeah. So one, 130 plus, one, uh, plus 45, 175 we think total shipped, which is way cheaper than any other weather station on the market that does what this does. So this is ultrasonic, wind speed, direction, temperature. I think it's got pressure. I think it does, yeah. Um, and then powered by solar. So really, really nice, no moving parts. Um, we're pretty excited about actually this particular project. So let's dive in and check out what's inside the bridge. All right, so what do we got in here? All right, so we haven't worked on the case design, so the things are just kind of stuck in here right now. But what we have is the the main unit here. So this is an ESP32 LoRa uh, device. This is the CC1101 that receives the signal from the weather station. And then on the bottom here is a, a board, the proto board, that connects the two. Um, and then batteries connected directly to the ESP32 board. And the solar power actually uh, goes into the USB port. So it's a five volt solar panel that you can plug directly into the USB port. Um, and that's, that's all there is to it. It fits inside this case. The antennas, you know, we haven't worked on those, but we could optimize those to fit inside a, a smaller case. Super simple, you could do this at home. Um, we've got a couple instructions that are gonna be going up. So we'll put out a gear list in public so you can build this yourself if you want. I think eventually what we're aiming to do is get this pre-built. So if you are a DIYer, you can do it yourself. But um, if you wanna just buy the thing ready-made, we think we're gonna be able to get that out to you. So we've got that going so far. Dirk, what are our next steps on this thing? So we're kind of looking at two paths. One, one is to improve this device. Uh, a couple of ideas there are where, you know, right now this is a proto board soldered with wires. We're going to make a PCB version of this so that, um, you know, it's quick to assemble. Um, and then also eventually we want to work on a single, you know, unified one PCB board version of this um, that we can then assemble ourselves using surface mount components. Yeah, we got some pretty cool stuff here. You can't really see it. it's kind of off camera, but we've been working on uh, converting a toaster oven into a, what is it, uh, a reflow oven, which will allow us to, to do what Dirk had just talked about. The other thing that is pretty cool with this project is that the weather station is just the first of the projects covered under this grant. There are two more projects that we have to do and we'll see if we can get more than two. And those are just gonna be different devices. The next radio protocol we're gonna attack is the ANT Plus. So if you've ever worn a chest strap or you had a bike computer, you've probably used ANT Plus. And what we're gonna be able to do with the Helium Bridge is bridge those signals from ANT Plus from your chest strap over to this thing and onto the Helium network. So with Class C, that gives us even more uh, possibilities. But one thing to think about is someone can watch you remotely while you're running. So if you have a running coach or you're a biking coach or a swimming coach or whatever, they can watch your heart rate, see what's going on there. Um, you could have, if you want to get super fancy and AI watching that stuff and making sure you're in the right training zones. So that is one kind of, the, that's the next track that we think we're going to do. 
Um, what we're going to do with this weather station for now is probably now that we've got it up and running and it's working, is make sure that you can work on it yourself if you want to do the same thing, if you want to improve it, if you want to do a case, if you want to improve the antennas, any of that stuff is kind of up, up for grabs, open for uh, improvement. And we're going to move on to the ANT Plus, and then we've got one more project after that. So that's the uh, first of the Helium Grant updates for the Helium Bridge project. We are super excited to see what's next. All right, there was one thing we forgot is where can you find out more and help out is there is a channel on the Gristle King server. I'll put a link down in the description for this thing. Uh, there'll be a channel called Helium Bridge. Cruise on there. You can talk to both Dirk and myself. If you've got ideas on how to improve this, uh, we'll have that or we'll have that uh, open conversation there. And then Dirk has a GitHub repo for the WS80 so that if you are that kind of DIY geek, you can build one of these things yourself. Super excited to see you on the uh, server or see what uh, goes on when you do this project yourself and what you learn from our mistakes and from the path that we've been blazing. Rock and roll.